you wouldn't want to be Aaron Hernandez in the Bristol County House of Corrections today where it's upwards of 90 degrees and there's no air conditioning. When you go inside the, the Bristol County House of Corrections, there's this horrible slam and you are in the slammer. Uh, the sheriff took me around, Sheriff Hodgson, and what surprised me most is just the finality of being in a cell that is shut, a seven by foot, ten foot cell, and that's Aaron Hernandez's life now, pretty much. And I just thought, oh my God, this is a guy that had a mansion, and he had you know, a $40 million contract, and now he's got nothing. He's allowed two books from the library, and that's about it. He can, uh, re he can write, he can write letters, and he can read those books, but for 23 hours a day, he's, he's stuck in there. So they took me to a cell that was very similar to his. So I was not allowed on his cell block for security reasons. And he's in like a solitary confinement. It's, it's not quite that. I mean, he's allowed, he can see seven other prisoners and he can exercise, but it's in like a cage-like enclosure. Uh, he's under guard. Uh, the sheriff did get to talk to him. I was not allowed to. The sheriff, Sir, Sheriff Hodgson likes to tell prisoners that they're on a, a crossroads of their life and he tries to you know get them to realize that they are in control of their destiny if they obey the rules and so far uh, Sheriff Hodgson said he's been a model uh, prisoner he's uh, he makes his bed he has to get up at six o'clock in the morning he has to make his bed by eight he has uh, a tray of food brought in the food is not uh, Lydia Shire uh, is not the chef there it looked uh, pretty uh, Yucky, actually. <laughs> I wouldn't eat it, but uh, he doesn't have a choice. And you think about how there were thousands of people in Gillette Stadium cheering madly for this guy, and he had a beautiful house, uh, over 7,000 square feet, and now he's in a 7 by foot, 10 foot cell. It's just, uh, he, he's not going anywhere. The other prisoners really don't care about him. They don't care about the fact that he was a patriot. They, one guy called him a punk, and another guy said, uh, that he didn't care about him, he was only con concerned about himself. And I don't think uh, Hernandez likes wearing uh, jet colors. The, the uh, prison uniform is, uh, is like a New York jet green. So when we were leaving, Sheriff Hodgson said that he hopes that this gets the messages out, especially to the young people, that you, know, you idolize these, these people, and yet uh, if you break the law, your life can change like that. If you make one bad choice, you could wind up in, in jail and, and have all your your whole life just go down the drain, everything that you accomplished and, and have 23 hours a day to think about it, sitting there with a locked door on a hot day, 95 degrees. This is Stan Grossfeld for the Boston Globe.